In looking at data types, there's one other data type that I'd like to look at, and that is the string data type. Now, a string data type is not a primitive data type, and that is going to have some significance as we go along. But what I want to focus on in this video is the similarities between the string data type and the primitive data type, because a string data type behaves a lot like a primitive. Here's a listing of all of Java's primitive data types. And at the bottom, I have put string in the other data type section. You might notice Java's primitive data types allow for a lot of things to be stored on a computer, like any kind of number, a single character, or Boolean true or false. But what it doesn't allow for is multiple characters put together into one object. And that's where string comes in. What a string is, is it's a sequence of characters. In a sequence of characters, usually people think of a word or a sentence or a paragraph or an entire book could be considered a string. And it's just not the alpha characters inside of a sentence. It's also the spaces, the periods, or any other symbols that are inside of there that is making up a string. So in this first example, what I've done is I've tried to assign the word hello to the string variable word one. And this isn't going to work out because all strings must have double quotes around them. Otherwise, the computer thinks that you're looking for a variable called hello, and it would say, hey, I can't find the variable hello. But if you put double quotes around it, it knows that you intend for it to be a string. And so if we were to run this now, we would get hello instead of an error. Another common mistake with strings is to not capitalize the S in string. And one of the major points of this video is that a string is not a primitive data type. Primitive data types start with lowercase letters, and a class like string starts with an uppercase letter. So we see that although it looks like a primitive data type, in that you write the data type, you write the variable, you write the equal sign, and then you say what you're assigning to word one, it's going to be different in the fact that string is going to be capitalized, whereas int, boolean, char, or any other primitive data type would start with a lowercase letter. Now string and character have some similar characteristics in that you can store one letter in a character and you can store one letter in a string. When you print them out, you're going to get the same value, two H's but they are worlds apart when it comes to what they're being saved as and what you can do with them. Because a string is a class, we'll be able to modify it in a whole bunch of different ways, which we'll be showing in later videos. With characters, it's a primitive data type, and it will never be able to be more than just one character at a time. As I said earlier, characters do not have to be just alpha characters. They can be any kind of symbol that you could imagine. In these examples, I've used numeric characters and stored them as strings. Our first example, word one, is just going to print out one, two, three. Our second example is not going to add them together, but it's just going to literally print what is inside of the double quotes, four, five, six, space, plus, space, seven, eight, nine. And then on the last example, I've added together both numeric characters and alpha characters to form something that looks like an address, 123 Anywhere Street. The string data type is an extremely important addition to Java. In the beginning especially, it certainly looks like a primitive data type. It assigns like a primitive data type, but there are definite differences that we're going to be discussing later. But for now, it's important to know that a string is a sequence of characters. It must have double quotes around it when it is being assigned or when a string is being used. And the string data type must be capitalized. It is not going to be lowercase like the other primitives, boolean, char, int, etc. Strings can be anything from one symbol all the way up to as many symbols as your computer can hold. So it doesn't have a set size like an integer or a real number or a boolean or a character. And it is an extremely important data type within Java.